Hello everybody, this is Case Rashni from Dedicated. I'm here with Mike from Metadata and we're at AWS's reInvent event and I absolutely love talking to customers. So great to meet you. I wanted to just ask, you know, what, what is Metadata and what do you do there? It's great to meet you too, Kate. So Metadata, we are a life sciences tech company. And over the course of our 25 years, we've been working on providing digital solutions to life science and clinical trial companies and pharmaceutical companies, that kind of stuff. And so one of the, our newer solutions that I kind of want to talk to you about today is our Data Connect and Clinical Data Studio solutions. And th what those solutions are trying to do is they're really trying to bridge the gap between the, the raw data ingestion and the analytical and the processing layers. So typically what our customers had to do before is they would use our flagship product, Rave, to ingest data and start collecting it. But then there's the whole analysis piece, right? And that in and of itself is a journey that's going to lead them for days, months, years as they're processing the results from their trial. And what we've seen over the years is that customers have come up with a number of different patterns for actually doing that analytical processing, right? And so what we really wanted to do with those solutions was kind of put the power of generating that analytical data and that processing and that understanding back into their hands. Because hmm. we would see them outsource those resources. They would, they're basically going anywhere and everywhere to try to get the right tools or the right people to do that job. And so with those solutions, we're kind of bringing that back into their hands. We're, let, we're giving them the power to build that stuff themselves and then from within the ecosystem, do the ad hoc analysis and that type of stuff. Okay, that makes sense. And how long have you been, have you been personally been working on this project? So the journey started a, about three years ago okay. and then we had our first release in production in June, 2024. So we've been running live in production for about a year and a half. And since that time, it's been an amazing journey. We've seen our solution uh, mature significantly and we've watched customers build over 4,000, I believe, of these custom data sets. Yeah, inside wow, our platform. That, that yeah. is insane. And uh, what sort of products and services from AWS are you leveraging? Yeah, so really the products and services from AWS is what kind of makes this magic happen, right? Yeah. So one of our core pieces of this whole equation is Apache Iceberg, which we're hosting on the Amazon Glue data catalog. And so the, the novelty of Iceberg is that you can actually plug it into right out of the box. It's interoperable with a number of different solutions, both from the ingestion, but also the, uh, the read side as mm. well. So what that allowed us to be able to do was give customers the ability to work with their data regardless of their experience level oh, okay. because we could plug in out-of-the-box solutions for things like streaming using like Amazon's Manage, Flink, and Kafka solutions or we could do things like ad hoc ETL and querying using any of the connected warehousing providers, right? And so we were able to build, for example, we built an RStudio SDK okay. to give customers that were very, very uh, proficient in programming the opportunity to actually work with that data on their local machines in code and write the data back into the system, Amazing. right? Yeah. But we also have like our interface, which is for like those intermediate users that kind of know the concepts, mm. but maybe are not so familiar with the actual programming piece. And then we're looking forward to delivering a suite of AI agents for those that know what they want, but don't know the but concepts. No clue, right? And they can just ask for it themselves, right? And yeah. so all of that stuff, is using the magic of the glue catalog to, to expose that data to all of those different um, systems, okay. right? And make all of that possible, mm -hmm. right? And so I, I, you know, I wanted to kind of touch just like another second on that. Sure. Iceberg out of the box, I think people, for those who are familiar with it, can be a little difficult to manage, mm -hmm. but that's really where the magic of AWS kind of shines. They've built a lot of services to help solve some of the really annoying issues you run into every day with Iceberg in production at scale. Yeah. And so they've come up with things like the managed compaction and orphan file deletion and these types of things that can bite you in the butt real quick. But with those solutions, you kind of just, it's a once, it's like out of the box, set it up once, set it, forget it type experience, which I find to be amazing. Sounds, sounds easy. I love it. So, Mike, you, it seems like you've seen a lot of success in this project. So, for uh, my audience listening, if they want to replicate that success, what advice would you give them if they're just getting started? Oh, that's a, that's a great question. I actually get that question a lot. Yeah. I think 
you know, the first part that I look at is you, you kind of take a survey of like your data state and where all of your data is, right? Mm -hmm. Because like I said before, what really makes this, the straw that stirs this drink is that iceberg glue combination, right? Mm -hmm. That's what opens up the door for all these different ingestion and then read possibilities. And so there you can plug in all these different systems, right? Whether that's AI, whether that's query engines, whether that's interfaces and applications, whether that you're writing data out in real time using Flink on Kubernetes, which is what we do. That's what powers those pipelines, right? right. And so we take a, you take a look at what you have for your data and you figure out how you can migrate to that blue iceberg mm. solution. And then the rest, you, you'll just kind of find it falls right into place, right? Your existing applications, your existing query systems, your existing platforms, all will kind of just plug right in without you having to worry about, you know, too much of the re-architecting and repointing yeah. that you kind of run into if you're trying to migrate from like one database to another, for example, and that kind of thing. Okay, well, first of all, I love the quote, the straw that stirs your, the drink. The I, straw I that <laughs> stirs the drink, yes. I love it. Yes. You should, you know, trademark that one. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Um, so just for my audience, I will include some relevant links to blog articles and resources that, you know, Mike was talking about. Um, Mike, I really appreciate your time and cheers. Yes.